allow yourself to feel your body. So this is the next thing on a daily basis. Allow yourself to feel your body's pains. Uh -huh. Your body often will have pains every single day. And when I say pains, I'm not just talking about the physical pains either that you feel, but also the internal organ pains that you have sometimes and also the pains you have about your body when you look in the mirror. Right? Allow yourself to feel every one of those things. So when you look in the mirror and you're looking a bit old and drawn today, you know, you acknowledge that and allow yourself to feel the emotion inside of you that it responds to seeing yourself in the mirror like that. Ah, oh, I look terrible. You know, and allow yourself to connect with that emotionally. That's what I'm suggesting to you. And allow yourself to connect emotionally to the physical pains you feel. Every pain is a result of a fear of dealing with an underlying emotion. Does that make sense? Every pain is a result of a fear of dealing with an underlying emotion. Right? So any pain in your body is the result of a fear of dealing with an underlying emotion. So if I've got a headache, that's the result of a fear of dealing with grief. Right? And my mind struggles by creating a lot of activity and all of a sudden I'll get a headache because I don't want to deal with the grief. Every pain in your body is like that. Every single pain. Now, at any one time, many of you will feel lots of different pains if you're connected. The key is to not freak out about that and to get upset about that. The key is just to acknowledge them. All right? I've got a pain in my left leg. All right? What's that about? Left side, you know, I could go intellectually into it, but the key is to go emotionally into it. And the way I do that myself is just feel the pain in my left leg. Just breathe and feel it and just say, I am in denial of an underlying emotion. And just keep breathing and keep breathing into that pain. The other day, myself and Mary were in the kitchen and all of a sudden, my arm, my left arm was just, my shoulder was so painful that all that happened is I just, I just knelt on the floor in the kitchen and just cried. There was so much pain in my arm. Right? And then as soon as I did that, I knew what the denial was about. As soon as I allowed myself to connect to that, to connect to the pain. Up until then, I'd been saying to Mary, gee, this pain in my arm, you know. I've had a, the pain in my arm for a week or two before then, solid, but not to that intensity. And I never allowed myself to go into it, you see. But as soon as I allowed myself to go into it, immediately I knew what it was about. Whereas if I hadn't allowed myself to go into it, I would have been still trying to guess what it was all about. Does that make sense? Yeah. We're getting lots of lovely pictures here at the moment. So. <laughs> um, what's some more? Uh, sorry, question. Oh, I, I just wanted to say that I've been fighting sleep all the way through your talk up until the breathing, and I now feel wide awake. Okay. Thank yep. you. No worries. <laughs> I don't know if you should thank me. It might have been my voice putting you to sleep. <laughs> Better just microphone. If, if headaches are the, uh, the fear of dealing with grief, then is, is a migraine a more acute? Um, yeah, very intense grief underneath the migraine. Because I was talking to a lady last night who said she suffers from a migraine every single day. Yeah, And I told terrible. her that to look in, look in her childhood yep. for what could be causing that. Yeah, deep grief in her childhood. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, and the same, obviously the different areas of your body mean different things and you can go and get a book like The Human Body is the Barometer of the Soul and those kind of books and see the relationship. But in the end, if sometimes the fastest way is actually just to breathe into the feeling. When you breathe into the feeling, all of a sudden, you know, you start allowing the feelings to flow and you'll find out pretty rapidly, usually after that, what the emotion is. My daughter this week funnily enough, has just randomly got a headache or a bellyache, yep. um, headaches in particular. Yep. Is that a denial of grief on my part? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So remember, every time we're a parent and we're dealing with a child's emotion, it's to do with our denial. And recently I was just talking to a, a mother with, uh, we were talking to a mother with a nine-year-old child 
who's in terrible pain on lots of different levels. And, and she goes to her mother and tells her what her mother should be doing to, for her to get rid of that pain, right? So, um, yeah, and, and often the mother doesn't do that, so she then gets angry with her mother for not doing it. But um, often, almost all the time, a child experiencing a pain is the result, definite result, of one or both parents not dealing with a certain pain. Yeah. And usually it's a law of attraction, so, so if the child comes to you about the pain, and doesn't go to her dad about the pain, then it's your. But if the child goes to dad about the pain and not you, then it's something to do with dads, usually. You'll see the law of attraction working quite well. 